Hey YouTube, this is my latest creation. It is a solar shower for my van. It was at one point a 10 foot long PVC plastic pipe. This is my third iteration of this and I've cut off the pipe several times so I'm sure it's a little bit shorter than that. What I have is an adjustable pressure relief valve that goes from 0 to 100, a Home Depot quick release thing on a valve that has a shut off, and a Schrader valve to pressurize the whole thing with air. So this is how the pipe is going to be on the van. Just to the side of the solar panel. And then the canoe can be on the outside and the shower will be right there. Let me show you how this works. So the reason I put the Schrader valve and all these other things that I need to be able to reach on the bottom is because I couldn't reach them when they were up here standing in the van. So to fill the pipe, because screwing these on and off was always a problem, I have purchased a bunch of quick connect things from Home Depot and I've purchased a, some kind of little adapter that converts a female end of the hose to the female end of the hose. So what I do is I screw this on to the hose. So this is a quick release. That, so I could leave this on the hose at all times. And then I just have this, which is two male ends and the female to female adapter in the middle. And that, I just have them as quick release. So you just do that and everything is connected together. Now I'm going to go turn the water on. Turn on the water and let's just start filling the pipe. So that is filling the pipe now because we turned the water on. So. So now water is coming out of the pressure relief valve so we know the pipe is full. So I'm going to go shut it off at the wall. I know. I can't believe you're doing so this. So I can um, prevent that from coming out by adjusting the pressure relief valve. Then I can shut the water off so it won't come out of here. And I can disconnect this. I'll probably get wet. Uh -huh. <laughs> well. Now we'll hook up the shower. Another quick release. And I'm going to start a timer and we'll see how long this runs. That was short. What the hell? We don't have any water coming out at all. You know what? The van is pointed downhill. I don't know if you can tell, but that's pointed downhill, so all the water's at that end. I was using a bicycle pump. I'm going to use this. Okay, I've repressurized to 30 psi. And we'll try the hose again. Yay, water. Time it. Oh. To get my camera wet. Because it's 95 degrees out, somebody's having Feels fun <laughs> in the shower. Wow, how come I'm getting, it must be windy because I'm getting wet over here. So if I were done getting wet, I could shut this off and then turn it back on. Or I could shut it off here and turn it back on. Yep. Okay, it's starting to peter out. We're at five minutes, three seconds. And there it goes. And I think that's it. Let me pressurize it a little bit and see if we can get any more out. I guess that was all the water that was in the pipe. So I had a little thought, which was when this is when this piece is upside down on the top of the van and I'm filling it, I'm wondering if the whole pipe is filled with water or if there's a lot of air in the pipe. So what I'm going to do is lower the pressure relief valve to be pretty low so that when it fills up with water to this point, all the water will start coming out of here. So I'm going to do that right now. So with that side up, this pipe should totally fill completely full of water. I'm going to close this down a little bit 
to increase the pressure in the pipe. And now no water seems to be... We're up to like 60 pounds of pressure. Okay, so now I'll see how long this lasts. I have the pipe slanted downhill and completely full of water. And I will turn this on and I will release the shower and start my watch. And despite putting tons of Teflon tape on these threads, this is still leaking water. Now I don't have shit for pressure and we're only less than a minute in. So I don't think when you fill it with water pressure you are going to get much of a shower. So now I'm going to switch over to blowing this back up and now it'll have some air pressure and we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, I just blew it up to 35 psi and I'm going to open that and open this and see what happens. Okay, it's only been about two minutes and the flow is really slowing down, so I'm going to keep it going and pump this up some more. So this has now been running for almost six minutes. So I would say we are running out of water and we are at Six and a half minutes. So I think the way to fill it up is to tilt that end there upright. Also I'm probably going to increase the length of this pipe so that it covers all three of the crossbars. By the way after filling up this pipe twice the battery level on this thing is two out of three. Not bad. Good little thing. Work zone 20 volt inflator. By the way, the water hose that I'm using is the Flexzilla 5 8 inch inside diameter 150 PSI hose and a low flow shower head on it with an adapter to convert from the size of a hose down to the size of a shower head. And again, I'm using a ton of these quick release fittings from Home Depot. And on the other end, of course, I've got the male Home Depot adapter so that I can easily plug quickly into this pipe. Now one downside of this design is filling it if you don't have an outside spigot. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting this also in line when I extend that pipe on top of my car. And what I'll be able to do is possibly unscrew this and fill it. But then I'm a little worried that this won't hold pressure any better than the end does. I might not be able to pressurize it very well, but I also might get a check valve put in the top of this, which would allow it to drain under gravity instead of right now it has to be under pressure or it gets airlocked and no water will come out even though there's water in the pipe. So that's, so this is probably not the final design, but it's gonna be the design for the summer until I can get back to Massachusetts where they have ABS plastic pipe. They do not carry this stuff in Maine. I'll post links to all of the pieces and parts that are involved in this in the video description. Thanks for watching. Not too wet. By the way, when you build this, let your PVC cement cure a little while before you pressurize it. Or this might happen to you. Yeah.